Good evening. Happy Monday. It's good to be with you. So I, I have a homily here prepared, but I have to point out uh, the very last sentence in the gospel, and the chief priests plotted to kill Lazarus too because many of the Jews were turning away and believing in Jesus because of him. Whenever I read that, I'm like, wow. I mean, it's bad enough they want to kill Jesus, but they want to kill anyone who's leading people to Jesus. Okay, so I'm, I'm not going to preach on that. I just wanted to mention that. So um, today, today we had the responsorial psalm, Psalm 27. And Psalm 27 is used for a lot of funerals, lots and lots of funerals. And I have to admit, it kind of feels like right now with the coronavirus pandemic, so on and so forth, it feels like we're kind of stuck in a perpetual funeral. What do we experience at funerals? There's lots of things, lots of emotions happening. Here's three of them. Separation, loss, and powerlessness. Powerlessness over death, over the human condition. And what are we feeling right now? Separation from so many people we love. Sure, we're connected electronically, and it's the best we can do, but it's not quite enough. We all feel that emptiness right now. Number two, loss. We have lost so many things. We have lost our normal. We're all adjusting to a new normal. We've lost the old one. Number three, powerlessness. We have lost our sense of control over the coronavirus, the invisible enemy. So when we're feeling separation, loss, and powerlessness at a funeral, we then hear Psalm 27, and it comforts us. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge. Of whom should I be afraid? It's comforting to know that though we have lost so much, we still have God. And if we have God, we have everything. And really, this is what Lent is all about. We give things up in Lent. We lose things so that our hearts can refocus, recenter on God. But sometimes it's almost like we need to lose something in order to turn to God in order to turn in the right direction. If you remember the movie Apollo 13 from 1995, uh, while, while Apollo 13, the, the damaged spaceship, was trying to make its way back to the Earth, in the movie, a news channel airs an interview they once did with Jim Lovell, who was played by Tom Hanks, one of the Apollo 13 astronauts. And Jim tells the story of back when he was a fighter pilot. And it was wartime conditions, so the aircraft carrier he was searching for was running without lights. And he's trying to find his way back to the aircraft carrier, but his radar had jammed, his homing signal was gone, and he was low on fuel. So he was starting to think about ditching the plane. And at that point, he flipped on the cockpit lights, and when that happened, it went from bad to worse. All the lights went out, the cockpit shorted out. But then, once the cockpit shorted out, once, once all those lights were gone, he looked down and he was able to see the green algae that the aircraft carrier had churned up. And he described it as it was, if it was like a green carpet leading him home. And he said that if the cockpit lights had not shorted out, he never would have seen the algae. He probably would have ditched the plane and been stuck somewhere in the ocean. He probably would have died. We don't know. And he says, you never know what is going to transpire to get you home. Now, personally, for me, it's taken big trials. It's taken big losses in my life to get me to turn to the Father. And when I have turned to the Father, I have learned, if I have God, I have everything. So back to Psalm 27. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge. Of whom should I be afraid? Though an, en though an army encamp against me, my heart will not fear. Though war be waged upon me, even then will I trust. I believe that I shall see the bounty of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord with courage. Be stout-hearted and wait for the Lord." 
So it is my prayer for all of you in these tough times of loss that we will all refocus our hearts on the Lord. And when we do this, when we refocus our hearts on the Lord, we will realize if I have God, I have everything. God love you.